Here we have a imitator display cutaway rotator. This is the uh, 1200 FX, the DC model. Uh, the 1105, uh, the 1200 and the 1300 all utilize the same housing, uh, top housing, bottom housing, uh, the top subframe, this one here, the top subframe. And basically the only different is this bottom subframe uh, is uh, uh, is 1.6 mil, 1.6 mil still, 1.2 mil still, and it's a different shape for other models where the motor sits in different locations. So there we go. So this one has a single st um, solid gears. There's two of them, the two drive gears under the housing, and then when you go down inside, there's another solid drive gear. Um, which drives those uh, those two twin drives and then the back behind that you'll see the next one which is a manufactured solid gear as well and then you'll see below that there's three uh, sorry, four sorry one two three four four of the um, stamped out faster moving gears uh, which is then driven by the uh, the gear on top of the motor there which you can see there's the DC motor there so when we come back around here a bit more then you'll see the potentiometer on the top this is the gear drive version from the later models um, the other one had a um, uh, arm which actually worked off the actual top housing. Um, yeah, there you go. So this one has uh, all the gearing inside, and it runs a drive is driven by the actual uh, drive gear that drives those two uh, final drive gears. So there we go. And then we come up the top, and then we see the uh, limit switches in here. Gives you the stopping of it uh, when it gets to the limit. So yeah. Um, these are a bit uh, um, underrated, these rotators. Um, they're a very good rotator. Um, I like them because they're, they're solid gears, um, solid chassis, um, yeah, and just uh, yeah, bloody good rotators, as opposed to some that have stamped out gears in the final drive. Um, loose stacked and lightweight chassis and lightweight all over. Um, so yeah, so it's just a good little package. Good little package. So there we have, oh, I'll spin right around. This is what the actual casing looks like from the other side. Back a bit here. Um, and again, these are six bolt stud pattern on the top and the bottom. So when you look at the bottom, six bolts as opposed to four. So you've got a lot more bolts holding the whole thing together. So you've got six on these, six on the top. You can see the one, two, three, and the other two are over here. So yeah, um, which means that you know, the clamps are held a lot better. So yeah, it's all good. There you go, there's a quick one over of the display um, rotator from Imitator. Catch you later.